Hey all you algebra lovers, Miss Savage from Savage Sullivan Math here. I am so excited to talk about today's concept, double distribution. So when we talk about multiplying polynomials, one really, really important type of multiplying is when we multiply two binomials together. Now, just like if I were to cover this up and we were to just multiply negative three into this binomial, we would distribute. But because we have a binomial which has two terms, we have to do distributing twice. We have to distribute the 2x through this and the negative three through this. So we have something called double distribution. Sounds fancy, but it really is something that you already know how to do. So I'm gonna start with the 2x. And with that 2x, I'm going to distribute it to both the 4x and the 2, making sure that I'm doing it to both terms. 2x times 4x is 8x squared, remembering our laws of exponents. 2x times 2 is positive 4x. Again, we can't combine those at all because the exponents are different, so they are not like terms. Next, we're gonna look at the negative three. And I'm going to do a second distribution. I'm gonna take the negative three and I'm gonna multiply it to the four x and I'm gonna multiply it to the two. Hence, double distribution. When I do that, negative three times 4x is a negative 12x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. All right, I did all of my multiplying. So now I need to see, are there any like terms that I can combine here? And there are. We can combine 4x minus 12x. What is 4x minus 12x? Yep, a negative 8x. So we have 8x squared minus 8x minus 6. And we're going to look at this and make sure that there are no further like terms that we can combine, which there aren't. We're also going to check to make sure that it's written in standard form, which it is. So we are all set. 8x squared minus 8x minus six is our final answer. Nice work, Mrs. Savage. For this binomial multiplied by a binomial, we're gonna show double distribution again. So we've got this negative two X that needs to be multiplied by the three X and the negative five. So three X minus five. When I go, I'm just gonna go ahead and show this work a little bit further. When I go ahead and do that actual distribution, negative two X plus three X would be a negative six X squared. And negative two X times a negative five would be a positive 10 X. Then I also have to take care of distributing this negative four throughout that second parentheses. So, this is my thinking. I'm going to distribute this negative 4 throughout. So negative 4 times a 3x would be a negative 12x. And negative 4 times a negative 5 would be a positive 20. Don't forget to look for any terms that you could combine because they would be like terms. I've got a 10x and a negative 12x that are like terms, so I'm going to combine them. I know that 10x minus 12x is going to be a negative 2x. I can't forget about my negative 6x squared, and I also can't forget about my positive 20. This is your final answer. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.